This is code.org. Let's see what we got. A motorcycle? Okay, let me hit run over here. Maybe. Oh, I saw it for a second. You see that? Just real quick. <laughs> All right, so this program should move the motorcycle from the bottom left to the top right. As in the image, the right. Yep, okay, that would make sense. However, the motorcycle moves off the screen too quickly to see what's going wrong. Definitely does. Look at the watcher for cycle X. Okay, so this is what a watcher is. And if I hit run, it tells me what cycle X is equal to. So cycle must be, yep, cycle is the variable for this sprite, for our motorcycle. So it's telling me the X location of the sprite. Add a watcher for cycle y, okay, cycle dot y, and then I have to hit this little plus thing. Run the program to see what happens to the properties, right, because dot x and dot y are properties of cycle. They're things of cycle, properties, and why the motorcycle disappears. Let me hit run. Oh my goodness, look how high these are going, 800, 1000. Now remember our screen here, I can click show grid, zero, zero is at the top. 400x and 0y is over here. So it's a bit strange because 0y is the top of it, top of the screen, and 400y is at the bottom. You would think it was reversed, but it's not. So 0x zero, zero, zero though is the left-hand side, 400x is the right-hand side. So if I hit run here and my cycle.x is 480, 1000, well, where is that? If this is 400x, 1000s like here, right? It's on Mars. What about 3000 Y? Let's do it again. When it starts, it's at like 400 Y, which makes sense. This says 400 right here. So 0, 400 is where it is when it starts. But then it suddenly increases and increases. Well, what happens when I increase Y? I get off the screen. So debug the code so that the program runs like the image. All right. So we do need to start in the bottom right, but we need to go up not down let's take a look oh well here we are here's our counter variable right every time I'll, our draw loop runs every time 30 times a second we hit this the background's grayed out then it says cycle.x equals cycle.x plus 10. so what happens then there is that it goes okay what was the cycle's old x value i don't know smack oh it was zero okay zero plus 10 is what well it's 10. So now the new value for cycle X is 10, which would push it over here somewhere. Okay, what was the cycle's old Y value? Um, smack, 400. So 400 plus 10 is 410. So the new Y value for the cycle is 410, which puts it down here somewhere. And it hits the bottom. Again, this runs 30 times a second. Loops back around. The background's grayed out again, so everything's covered so quick, which is good because then we don't have a smear across the screen. It covers up the old animation. Then it says, okay, we have a new value for cycle.x. What is it? It's going to be equal to the old value of cycle.x plus 10. Well, what did we say? We just made cycle.x 10. So 10 plus 10 is the new value. Cycle.x is now 20. Okay, now we have a new value for cycle.y. What is it? It's cycle.y plus 10. Well, we just said cycle.y was what? Well, it was 400 plus 10. So right now it's 410. 410 plus 10 is 420. And so cycle.y is equal to 420. Then we hit draw sprites and it slaps the sprite on the screen and it goes again. This time x would be 30, y would be 430, and it's pushing us all the way off the screen. So if we want to go up, we shouldn't add to y. This is 400y down here. If we want to go up, we need to take away. We should be subtracting from y. I'm going to go into text mode and change this to a negative number. Boom. Let's take a look at their animation. Looking pretty good. Awesome. Tricky, tricky, tricky. And you can see the numbers are also headed in the right direction. Onward.